Hey guys, it's Jody from Clutter Free Classroom and I'm here today to show you my latest product that I designed for students to give as gifts to their parents. You could also use it as a gift for parent volunteers if you want to create them yourself. What I tried to do was come up with something that would be economic and easy enough for the kids to make and also something that would have some meaning and something that the parents could save and use. And I also want to make it simple enough that for our students from non-traditional homes who need to create more than one gift, it would be easy enough for them to do just that. So what I have here are four of the pages that I've printed out. The kit actually comes with about ten in all, and the ones I chose are the ones you'll just need to use four of them, but I picked these because they are easy enough to print once and then use the photocopier to duplicate. So you're not going to be using lots of toner. This image here does have um, a brown frame around it, but again, I did it dark enough so that if you were to make the additional copies on the photocopier, it would still look good. Ideally, I designed the kit so that you could um, use Crystal Light containers for each student. I love using these in my favorite repurposed household item in terms of containers. I love storage containers, but these are great because the plastic label just slides right off. I'm trying to do it with one hand as I tape with the other, but um, it just comes right off and it leaves you with a nice sturdy case that has a cover on it. It's a good size, not too big, not too small, um, and it's a hard plastic. We use a lot of this at home, so I tend to have a lot of the containers, but you could also just put out an all call to parents or teachers at your school, and I usually get a bunch that way. Otherwise, just a regular lunch bag would work too because the label could simply be trimmed down and it will fit on there as well. Um, I plan on using one of the containers for each of the students along with a bag that they can decorate and put the gift inside. These are the four pages that you'll need. This one is the wrapper, which can be used on either the Crystal Light container, paper bag, or pretty much any container that you use. It says Family Dinner Conversation Starters. It's going to go around the outside of it, and the frame is where the children can draw a picture of their family within it. Underneath that, I have the prompts card, and I did an intermediate line and a primary rolled version of the two questions. One says the best thing about eating together is and the other one says that my family is special to me because. The kit also includes a blank primary ruled and intermediate ruled card if you had a different prompt you wanted to do or if you just wanted the students to write on their own and this will go around the back of the product. This page here is um, just an overview that you can roll up and go inside to the families. It's just a quick bit on the research of the importance of family dinners and also some tips that families can use when they're eating together. And finally, you're going to want to print out the conversation starters. And I recommend doing it on some cardstock, laminating it, and then having the kids cut it out. I did the lines nice and thick so that when they trim it, it'll still have a good border on it. The kit also includes a blank version of this so that you could either generate your own questions or else have the kids come up with some which might be fun or maybe even just um, put that all twisted. Maybe even just throw it in there for the parents to create as they start to use it together. So if you're making it with the Crystal Light container you just need to take the label which is designed to fit right around it, wrap it around, secure it in the back with a piece of tape, Take the card that you've chosen for them to do their writing prompt on and you'll secure that right over it. Again, it can just be taped right on. This is the description of the product and how they can use it as a family. That will just fit right inside. And then you take the conversation cards, cut them up and drop them in as well. If you decide to do it using a paper bag instead, You'd simply take the bag, put this on the front, and just trim down the side so that it fits. You can stick this directly onto the back. And then on the sides, the student's writing prompt would fit perfectly on the side. And I would actually use both of them. I would use the best thing about eating together as well as why my family is special to me. And then just put the cards right inside.